Hi everyone, it's Nerdy Girl Alex here, and I want to let you know that the new weight loss and diabetes medications, known as GLP-1 agonists, probably have some reproductive health effects of which you need to be aware. So we have two medicines in this class. We have terzepatide, which is marketed as either Monjaro for diabetes or Zepbound for weight loss, and then we have semaglutide, which is marketed as either Ozempic or Wegovy, depending on what you're using it for. These medicines are profoundly effective, and so more and more people are taking them every day. So let's talk about the potential reproductive health effects based on the limited data that we have thus far. First of all, terzepatide in studies, when someone who was already on birth control pills started taking terzepatide, they found that the blood levels of their pills decreased by 20 to 60%. That's a significant change, and we can hypothesize that that would decrease the effectiveness of the birth control pill. However, they did not measure that in the study. Semaglutide, on the other hand, did not look at, the studies that we have did not look at what happens when you first start semaglutide. They looked at what happens to birth control pill levels on people who've been on a stable dose of semaglutide for a period of time, and they found no difference at all. So we have two different label warnings then. So the terzepatide package insert says that when you first start the medicine or with any subsequent dose increase, you should use a backup form of birth control like condoms because it might be decreasing the effectiveness of your pills. Semaglutide has no such warning. However, they didn't actually study what happens when you first start the medicine or when you have a dose increase. So it's possible that there could be some decreased effectiveness with semaglutide as well. Secondly, there are reports of birth defects and miscarriages in lab animals in the initial studies at doses used equivalent to what is used in humans. Now, of course, they haven't then experimented on humans to see if these medicines would cause birth defects and miscarriages because that would be unethical. So we don't really know if they would cause that in humans. There, we Govi is now doing a study where if someone accidentally gets pregnant while they're on the medicine, they're tracking those outcomes, but we don't have any data from that yet. So in summary, there's good evidence that terzepatide can interfere with effectiveness of birth control pills, at least when you first start or with a dose increase. We don't know about that for semaglutide. We also know that both medicines are associated with miscarriages and birth defects in pregnant lab animals who are on them. And so if you are thinking about becoming pregnant, you're going to want to stop these medicines four to six weeks before trying to get pregnant as per the package insert. So be sure to talk about this with your clinician and be aware if you're someone who could get pregnant. Thanks so much.